Hello. In last video about charging battery with reactive power, we didn't have good quality of video and didn't show it well. Let's start it again. I hope it will be much better. First of all, I will have to remind everybody or to inform someone in electrochemistry uh, uh, that joules, which means energy, in joules are not much important. The, uh, in electrochemistry, uh, the number of coulombs, which means current, uh, is more, um, more important than joules. In other words, for electrolyzers, for the batteries, is not important how many joules you put in, it's important how many coulombs, how many amps you put in. I saw on YouTube some energy researcher which uh, de develop new chargers, they are calculating uh, the number of joules which they are put, put it in the battery, which is completely wrong. Uh, so, to explain, if you have some single cell with uh, one type of electrolyte and if you put uh, in that this uh, uh, cell draw one amp uh, from the source, from two volt source, uh, which it will give you two, two joules, two watts. Uh, but if you put the, uh, another electrolyte where cell will draw 1 amp and 6 volts, it will give you 6 watts. But amount of gas will be the same. Because I said that, that uh, in electrochemistry the number of coulomb are important, not joules. If you think about this direction, which means our goal is to, uh, if you are talking about electrolyzer or if you are talking about the, the battery, uh, our goal could must be to apply much lower minimum voltage than we can apply bec uh, because for the same current uh, then we will invest the minimum energy. Standard battery chargers are from 13.5 to 14.4, in some cases even more uh, of voltage output, uh, but they are produce uh, very fast uh, charging. Um, from electrochemistry also we know uh, efficiency uh, increase by decreasing the current, which means less current to the battery, less current to the electrolyzer, efficiency will be more and better and better. Uh, that's why I uh, try with new approach to charge the battery, to drive electrolyzer by uh, reactive power. Uh, let's say this transformer, it is uh, in size just ordinary transformer, uh, 10 volts. Uh, but we can see here now, it is consumed uh, about 47, 46 watts and power factor is 0 0.198, which is quite good. And if we uh, uh, it is AC voltage, so when we see that it is 10.40 volts, uh, but it is effective value, which means the p uh, because it's sine wave uh, transformer is output, a maximum peak is uh, effective value times square root from two. If we have if we have a triangle waveform, then maximum uh, the effective value 
let's say 10 volts is uh, time, uh, time peak is time, uh, effective time square root from 3 which is about 17 volts 1730 over here it is over 14 volts uh, so if we will apply uh, put it is so simple just put bridge rectifier uh, to to output of transformer but you you should calculate the voltage drops on diode so which means maximum peak minus voltage drop on diode will give you maximum voltage peak uh, what I will go do now which means I will with 10 volts I will charge 12 volts batteries battery so have a look it's uh, climbing up uh, so we the watts is 15 watts about 20 volt amperes and power factor is 0 0.75 6 by the time uh, the watts will go down and power factor will also go down because uh, how I'm charging the battery uh, there will be more and more reactive uh, current. Uh, this approach will give you very high efficiency of charging the battery but the disadvantages from this system is uh, we invest in low energy which means that we need because the current is important Coulombs we need, we need more time to charge the battery than if you use standard uh, I'm using this system when I have time when I'm not in a hurry to charge the battery in the lab in for my e-bike um, which is for 48 volts uh, so every time when I return from drive I hook up this uh, this uh, charger and I'm leave it so which means uh, it's all uh, I do not need electronic to make current limitation because uh, if the battery is good there is no problem the, uh, about the current uh, so this principle uh, now it's climbing forward uh, so uh, if you use uh, it is a standard transformer but we can also use uh, high s switching uh, power supply for halogen lamp because this uh, power supply has 11.3 to 11.7 volts output which is also good uh, for charging 12 volt batteries but uh, here is not uh, switching power supply it is ordinary transformer for halogen lamp for 12 volt output the output is 12 volts so just just bridge rectifier and and plus minus it's that's all what we need so if I will draw it is 150 watts uh, yeah 150 watts uh, actually, sorry 105 watts in power supply uh, yeah, so if I will drive electrolyzer serial electrolyzer like brown gas for 12 volts, uh, in, we are using usually six cell cells uh, in brown gas generator uh, to to produce uh, hydrogen and oxygen brown gas. But if you use this principle, then uh, because because uh, 12 volts times square root from 
2 is about 17 volts uh, it tell us and it was checked from my side that we can drive 8 cells so we are 30% uh, better more efficient than what we use uh, on standard way now it's 12.65 so it's climbing relatively good in on the beginning but later it will be slower so that's it thank you for watching this video